Hey guys, on Frequented World, out in the field again. Uh, rained really hard last night, as you can see. Everything's super saturated, so I'm probably going to end up with dirty knees today. But uh, that's okay. I'm used to working hard and getting dirty, so let's get at it. Well, there's the first seven holes, guys. Everything down seven to uh, nine inches. We're not going any shallower than that. So, I'm learning my lesson. You want the old stuff? Go deep. Here we go, guys. First coin of the day. I believe it's just a penny. 1971 American. Second coin of the day, guys. Another penny. All right, guys. That's the uh, Canadian version of the last coin we found. 1971. Same year and everything. Okay, guys. So, I found the next coin. And all I know is that it's not a penny. Down six inches there. 1984 Canadian Quarter. There's another one guys, 1976. Look at that. That one's still got the eraser on it and the graphite in it. Good show. Broke open another coin ball and that's what we got. Uh, so this is the same hole guys. I flipped it back over and ran the detector over it again and it was beeping. And uh, inside this chunk here apparently there's another something. So let's uh, try to do this live. Oh, there it is. Another penny. Two in one hole. Well guys, I wasn't going to dig this. I got an aluminum hit and it was coming up consistently. Aluminum 45. And right there is a coin. About uh, seven inches. What? Uh, another penny. Dang, I was hoping it was something better. Okay. Got another coin ball here. I hope it's a coin. Okay, now that we're focused, let's... Oh, yeah. Pennies away. Somebody's been here digging, and they're too f***ing lazy to fill their holes in. So, whoever you are, if I see you, I'm going to let you know. Not acceptable, guys. Fill your holes in and take your trash with you. Everybody knows me out here, everybody sees me out here, and uh, I'll make damn sure to let them know that that's not me doing that. And if I catch you, you're gonna get a piece of my mind. So I filled those holes in, um, just extra work for me, and uh, no, it's lazy people, man. Anyway, we've got another coin here, penny, so. What is that? Uh, another penny. I don't know what's going on here. I'm back to my old routine. Coin ball! <laughs> I know what's in there. It's going to be another penny. Yep, there it is. We'll take it. It's a coin. Oh, wow. Had a real faint signal at 10 inches. And uh, the pinpointer wouldn't pick anything up. So finally, I'm down there over a foot. Ooh, let's see what it is. It's gonna be a big old nail. I know it. Well, I called it, but uh, you don't know unless you dig it. So gotta try once in a while to go a little deeper. Oh, that was easier. Five inches. Same hole, guys. Uh, I couldn't get a date off the first coin, and I went to fill it back in. I thought I'll grab the pinpointer, give it another check, and uh, there's another coin. Okay, so there's the first two guys. I checked the hole again. Got something else in here. Okay, just pulled the side off, and there's another coin right here. So all three of those are 1960-something. Um, can't get any dates, just partial dates. I got a six on both of these two on the top right, and the bottom one, if I turn it over, it's so corroded I can't even make it out. So. If someone would have told me five years ago that my midlife crisis would consist of me kneeling in a field digging up pennies and loving every minute of it, I would have been like, hell no. You never know where life's going to take you. Surprise, another penny. There's another one, guys. Penny. Finally, not a penny. Fell out of the side there. I don't think it's old, but... 1976, nickel. That was a good year. I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to the uh, Tenergy rechargeable Lion batteries as well. I bought these last October for the machine. I charged them in October. They sat on the shelf all winter out in my garage, and uh, 
threw them in the machine at the start of this season. I don't know, this is like hunt number eight. So, um, I don't know, I'm figuring uh, 25 hours, something like that. It wasn't completely dead, but uh, it was just showing one bar and it was uh, kind of bouncing around there. So I pulled it out. So, uh, excellent. Uh, they're not cheap. They're about 15 bucks a battery, but uh, they should last forever. I use them in the pinpointers as well. So it's uh, really a good buy if you're going to be out doing this all the time. Get the rechargeable Lions, guys. Hey guys, look at that one. That's my second one in as many weeks. <laughs> this one has been down here a long time. The cool thing about the Matchbox ones are they have dates on them. So Matchbox series number 29, Racing Mint, made in England, 1970. Super fast on the bottom. And oh, we're missing a wheel there. Cool. Someone tell me why these coins always come out in little balls. Is there some kind of ionic exchange? Uh, I don't know what law of physics am I missing here, but let's see what it is. Oh, a penny. Another coin here just fell off the side. Looks like a quarter. 1982 Canadian. Just checking the hole here. Something else in there. Another silver one fell out. I think it's a nickel. Yes sir, a 1971 Canadian nickel. So one shovel full over. We just dug the last hole there. Right here I'm getting another signal. I'm betting it's probably another coin. And there it is. The dime to go with the kids uh, quarter and nickel. <laughs> 1980 Canadian dime. There it is guys, there's the haul for today. Um, 16 pennies, two quarters, two nickels, a dime, nothing old, and one 1970 super fast. This field has given me British coins, British cars, I just need some British beer and women and we're going to have a party. So until next time guys, get out, dig as much as you can, have fun, and we'll see you soon.